2020 Democratic field growing yet again. See what I did there? Yeah. Montana Governor Steve Bullock becoming the 22nd White House hopeful, touting his ability to advance a progressive agenda in a conservative state. This is two liberal firebrand senators, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, reportedly battle for a key prize the endorsement of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The freshman from New York has said that she'd back the eventual Democratic Party nominee, but she issued this warning to fellow Democrats who don't support her Green New Deal. I am not here to tell you, I am not here to tell you that all Democrats are good and all Republicans are bad, and that if you simply elect someone with a D next to their name, that our problems will be solved. I've been told by, from people on both sides of the aisle that we need to frack more, and that we be, need to build more pipelines, both sides of the aisle. That seems to echo her apparent shot Friday at moderate Democrats like 2020 frontrunner Joe Biden, former vice president, after reports that he would offer a middle ground proposal on climate change to appeal to blue collar voters. She tweeted this. This is a deal breaker. There is no middle ground with climate denial and delay. Blaming blue collar Americans as the main opponents to bold climate policy is gas lobbyist 101. We're not going to solve the climate crisis with this lack of leadership. Our kids' lives are at stake. One, first up, does her endorsement matter if you're trying to win the White House? She is a socialist from New York City. She photographs well and she speaks with her hands, but beyond that, does she matter? Yeah, she matters. And I'll tell you why she matters. We're in a social media age, and I think that her account, her Twitter account, is second only to President Trump's in terms of political figures in the country. And so she appeals to a lot of young people. We're talking about her here on the couch today. She drives a lot of media attention. So the, just the news of her endorsement would be like, wow, why did she do that? And, you know, what does it matter? Well, it matters because then all of her followers, no doubt, will take a look at that kid. So, so, but I wonder how that translates, though, to why is Biden, Joe Biden so far ahead? I mean, do they not, when they're doing the polling to see how everyone's going to vote, do they not talk to people who are on Twitter? Oh, sure. Have Twitter, is there no cross? Oh, no, no. What so do you why, mean? Well, I'm saying, Joe Biden, why is he so far ahead? Why is he pulling out so far ahead of Sanders, who she's sitting down with and who she's tweeting with, if she has so much influence? Because I was starting to believe that that narrative that the media is driving the attention on her as opposed to it being sincere might be true just based on the early polling. How do well, you recognize that? But I think that is? people overestimate how leftist the Democratic Party is. And especially at this moment when the number one agenda for most Democrats is defeating Donald Trump. And if that's the case, then your look at electability is absolutely essential and key. And I think that Joe Biden has made a strong case because Biden has come out of the box not saying, hey, I'm competing with these other 20 plus people, including Bullock today. He's saying I'm competing with Donald Trump. Well, and he's had his platform usurped by many in, in the Democratic Party. I mean, he was so far left of everybody else. And, and now, I mean, it's interesting to hear them all take pieces of his platform and run with him. I would ask, though, about AOC in terms of, because uh, she's so new still, right? And we don't know what her power will be. But she certainly has a way of galvanizing people around issues. For instance, you're seeing uh, entire interviews and town halls dedicated to the Green New Deal. Absolutely. I mean, she didn't do it alone. Uh, Marky did it with her. It was a, a co-situation. But she is relatively new on the scene. Do you under underestimate her uh, if you don't take her seriously at this point? Nancy Pelosi takes her seriously. I think everybody should. Well, look, if anybody comes on the scene, a la Donald Trump, and is able to galvanize not only media attention, but voters' attention. Uh, you know, I mean, you forget, it's not that she came out of nowhere. She absolutely beat Joe Crowley, yeah, who was an established terms. politician. I, mean, well, I, I, I want to turn this on its head. Yeah. Is AOC toxic to a Democratic candidate who really wants to win and beat Donald Trump? because she's proposing essentially sending your gas prices up $5 a gallon. That would be a, the, the ultimate mm. result of her Green New Deal. And it would literally put millions of people working in the energy industry out of work. Remember what Hillary Clinton said about coal work to the yeah. coal miners? I'm going to put you out of work. I'll find you another job. She could be, a, a, again, she could be a liability to somebody. Well, and I think that kind of rhetoric from Hillary Clinton and also President Obama's assault on coal workers is part of the reason why there was such a disconnect with those working class voters as rural voters 
um, and why President Trump won in 2016, or at least a factor of that. But regarding Joe Biden, yes, he's up in polling right now, but there's still a lot of time between now and when we start hitting into these early prim or primary contests. And what really matters is these state to state contests. And because the vote is so split, there's still an opportunity for someone like Bernie Sanders or someone like that to emerge, particularly as we head into the debates. So I wouldn't be too you know, hard of a sell on Joe Biden right now. Uh, and what's interesting is a group, just as Democrats, that's tied to Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, mm -hmm. they've already taken aim at Joe Biden. They said in a statement that he is yeah. completely out of touch mm -hmm. with the center of energy and the Democrat Party. But I think it was a mistake for Democrats to give her a leading role in the um, Green New Deal rollout. Because remember that uh, frequently did they asked give her question? New, did they give her the role? I mean, well, she, but she, she did a press conference. No, but she did a press conference with Senator sure. Merkley. And so, of course, that was sort of a collaborative effort with him. Well, they and, wrote it together. And, yeah, exactly. And so, but I think that was embarrassing for them. Because remember that frequently asked questions document she put out about giving economic security to people who are unwilling to work, cows farting, and all these embarrassing things. She's certainly not ready for prime time. And the Green New Deal will hurt the Democratic Party in the general the election. The Democratic Party has needed Maybe not in the some sort of a primary. rock star for a while. I mean, Joe Biden has 100 percent name recognition. He was the vice president. He's, he's run been around twice for a billion years. He's so old. President. Well, age, you know, regardless Public of that. Public service old I'm and old I'm talking about how well known his name is. I mean, I he's thought, kind of I, in the same boat with Hillary just, Clinton. Wait a minute. I and thought I was supposed to be one lucky guy. <laughs> And here I am. Do you not feel lucky? Well, you're saying that I'm old. Oh, my oh, God. Joe, what's Joe Biden? How old is Joe Biden? You look so young. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think anyway, it's about age as I'll much as I'll speak up for the old guy. You look great. The I'll only guy that's still at playing. You. But I, I will say this Biden's about... Biden's been around forever. What? He's been around for a long time. He has People been. know who he is. They know what he is. And, and, you know and also, you they, know that's why it might be hard for him to win in the Democratic primary, because Where a lot of Barack people... Where is Barack Obama in all this, all, though? Oh, you know, I, I, I'd be curious to know, because remember what he told Hillary Clinton, the nation needs a new car smell. I, Those I, were his words. I was thinking about this, though. <laughs> President Obama does not need to come out. Joe Biden is running away with this right now, all on his own, number one. And President Obama doesn't need to come out and say, hey, I like Joe. He was his vice president for eight exactly. years. And by the way, that was one of the things that hurt HRC was the lack of black voter turnout. And Joe Biden has it. Yeah, he really does. He, he that's, really. that's one of the things that's pushing Biden right now. On AOC, just very quickly, the idea that we're all talking about the Green New Deal environmental policy, that's her doing. But as I a will, laughing stock, I will make you I feel better. So. Beauty fades, stupids forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't argue and that's that not, one. That's not directed at you. Wong. I'll take it. <laughs> I hope the beauty, the beauty part is what I thought. You've got both, Ron. You've got it all. You've got it all. I was hoping. <laughs> we got to roll.